Looking from the outside, we notice how elegant and simple the G3 injector looks. But behind this smooth exterior lies technology that makes this injector completely unique. How does the Provac G3 injector work? When the injector is sealed to the glass, it creates an isolated repair environment. But not only is the environment isolated, so is the resin that will be injected into the damage. As air and moisture can adversely affect repair resin, it is critical that these stay separate from the resin. Because of our patented resin isolation system, the repair resin will never come in contact with these contaminants. When the injector handle is turned counterclockwise, the piston raises. This creates a vacuum whereby air begins to leave the damage. Notice, however, that the lower piston seal has yet to disengage from the lower chamber. Also, note that the resin remains isolated and free from contamination. As the handle continues to turn counterclockwise, the lower piston seal disengages and leaves the lower chamber. The high vacuum created will now cause the air in the damage to bypass the lower seal and move into the upper chamber and the resin remains secure during this entire process. Now the injector is on its full vacuum stage. At this stage, a temperature reading is taken. After heating, this is the temperature that the glass should return to prior to the resin injection stage. Now it's time for moisture to leave the damage. When glass is heated under a vacuum, the moisture in the damage vaporizes and is removed to the upper chamber. Again, since the lower piston seal is above the lower chamber, moisture will pass the lower piston seal and move into the upper chamber. When the glass reaches its optimal temperature, all moisture is removed from the damage and is now in the upper chamber. Now the glass is allowed to cool to its preheat temperature reading. The moisture and air remain in the upper chamber because of vacuum. Once all air and moisture are completely removed from the damage, it is now time to inject resin. At this point, the handle is turned clockwise. This allows the lower piston seal to move back into the lower chamber. This prevents the air and moisture that was just removed from re-entering the lower chamber, keeping it from re-entering the damage. Also at this time, the upper seal does something amazing. Because of the pressure now being exerted below, the edges of this seal collapse inward, allowing the moisture and air previously removed from the damage to escape to the surface. As the handle continues to turn clockwise, the piston moves toward the outer seal. As the resin piston contacts the outer seal, the resin piston is forced up into the resin chamber, creating pressure. The resin is forced out through the resin piston hole and into the damage. Since the air and moisture were completely removed from the damage, the resin is injected into a relatively pristine environment. There is no air and no moisture that can inhibit the flow and cure of the resin. Because of the resin isolation system, this entire process ensures that the damage is completely filled with uncontaminated resin. Resin that has not been contaminated with air and moisture ensures a stronger, longer lasting, less visible repair. But now the question is this, does it really matter if repair resin is isolated from air and moisture during the repair process? Yes, here's why. If air and moisture remain in the damage when resin is injected, three things can occur. Number one, the moisture and air will not allow the resin to completely bond to the glass on the inside of the damage. 
This means the repair will not be as strong as otherwise and may not last as long as it should. Number two, pockets of air and moisture can form within the resin and these pockets allow light to reflect, thereby making the damage more visible. Number three, air and moisture can inhibit the curing of resin. Removing these two elements is critical for the resin to cure completely. It does matter that the resin be kept isolated during the repair process. The G3 guarantees this performance. The G3 ProVac injector conforms to all four requirements. It seals off the outside environment made up of oxygen and moisture from the damage. It completely removes the air from the damage. It completely removes moisture from the damage. And it completely fills the damage with resin. Every repair system should include an injector capable of such things. The G3 meets this standard. Now let's identify the parts of your G3 injector. Identifying the parts of the injector is important because it will help you understand the various repair instructions as well as assist you when you need to order different parts. In essence, your injector is made up of three main components. The piston assembly, the resin piston plug, and the injector body. Each of these three main components can be broken down even further. We start with the handle, then the cap, the upper piston seal, the resin chamber, the lower piston seal, the resin piston seal, and finally, the outer white seal. This is your G3 injector. It makes up one part of your entire system.